Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it has been a very hot minute. Thank you so much for coming back and watching. Uh, I'm currently filming actually today as well, an update on kind of where I've been the past nine weeks. I have not been on YouTube. It definitely took a step back to prioritize some things that were incredibly needed in my personal life. And I decided that I'm going to open up and talk to you guys about all that. Um, so I'm filming this video as well as an update video kind of like simultaneously. So I'm not sure which one you're gonna see first. I don't want anything to be repetitive, but I wanted to make this video to let you guys know how I recently lost 20 pounds in two months. Um, one of the things that I've really been prioritizing currently in my life is my physical and mental health. And I really put my foot down after I had back surgery and made a promise to myself to get the healthiest that I've ever been physically. Um, obviously last year was super, super hard for me. Uh, I was in the probably worst mental uh, my mental health was the worst it had ever been when I moved and lived in the apartment, took a step back from work, a relationship ended, I was in a depression, like it was just terrible. Um, my first video back to YouTube, I think in like January or something, you could just tell my face was so bloated and my stomach was so bloated, my skin looked really bad. It was just a rough time, right? Like we all go through those, we all go through ups and downs. Um, and the way that I currently feel right now is a whirlwind of a difference. I feel the best physically that I have felt in years. I think I'm actually down about 30 pounds from my heaviest being in the apartment, which was like maybe like eight months ago, but I lost 20 of it here just within the past two months with putting a lot of like mindset work into practice, which I'm gonna share with you guys, as well as just being strict on myself, eating in a caloric deficit. I've still been enjoying all the foods and snacks and ice cream and Taco Bell and all the good stuff. Um, but just in smaller portions and I have been able to work out more since I am mostly recovered now pretty much 100% recovered from my back surgery if you're curious I had a laminectomy about three months ago I have a video on my channel about it I had herniated discs and a pinched nerve it was like a whole shebang I was in the trenches in pain for months but that's finally over and I am cleared to work out now so I do have to be a little bit careful with doing legs RDLs squats all that stuff but I am able to do cardio and I have been able to lift upper body, just not super heavy. So I have been doing that and getting some cardio and working out back into my routine, feeling incredible, just being very, um, I wouldn't say strict because I don't feel like I'm on a strict diet at all, but more mindful of my eating as well as doing positive affirmations and being really positive with my self-talk and I've seen it reflected a lot in my physical body and I honestly feel amazing. Okay, so before we hop in, I did just wanna let you guys know, I posted about it yesterday on Instagram, but Built Bar has extended my discount code for you guys all the way throughout this calendar year. It's J-O-R-D-1-5. These are something I'm gonna talk about that have been incredibly helpful for me on my personal journey. I just grab one and go. It eliminates me you know, stopping in a drive-thru or having a bad snack or candy or whatever. If you have not heard of the Built Bars, they're literally incredible. Um, this is just the mix box. We have the puffs, we have the regular bars. They are amazing. I think I've been eating these now for like three years. They are low in sugar and high in protein. They have tons of flavors. They're incredible. My discount does get you guys 15% off the entire site. Um, I've been having these, I think, yeah, over three years now. And it's just a really easy like grab and go snack pre-workout, post-workout, you know that you're eating something calorically dense, high in protein. Each one is only between like 140 and 170 cal. Tons of different flavors. We have double chocolate, um, coconut, Oreo, peanut butter brownie, chocolate almond. Then you have the puffs, which are kind of like a marshmallowy texture. So it like mimics candy and they're just incredible. So if you guys do want to use my discount, I greatly appreciate it. It's 15% off the entire site. I did bring down a bunch of like products and stuff that I want to share with you that have just been helpful on my routine. These are like super random, but the Built Bars are a huge one that I just always keep in my gym bag. I genuinely love them. My son loves them. My dad loves them. Um, so I will put the link down below if you guys happen to want to purchase any of that. Um, but yeah, within the past two months, so basically after I got out of surgery, I recovered for about a month and didn't really do any physical activity. Um, but as soon as I got home from surgery, I made a promise to myself and something really clicked within me that I wanted to enter a time and a phase where I was going to prioritize my physical health again. Um, I've only really gotten great shape in my life one time, which was like six years ago. I'll put up a picture here. I was killing it in the gym. I was counting all of my food, but it wasn't sustainable for me. I was in the gym like twice a day and I could not keep that up. So I gained weight back. And then if you guys have been watching me on YouTube, I've kind of just not really yo-yoed, but kind of stayed in the same. I've always weighed between 180 and 190 for like the past like four years. Like would lose a few pounds here and there, but never really got a chunk off. Like this is the first time I've ever lost 20 pounds in a two month period, you know? I think it took me like eight and a half weeks. Um, 
So what I did is I just recommitted to myself. Um, when I was in the hospital for my back surgery, I saw, I had to share a room with other patients. You don't get like your own room or anything. There's like a little curtain and you share Anyways, so a lot of people came in with multiple health issues and I had a few talks with my nurses about obesity and just health issues that can arise if you are not healthy. And I don't know, something just clicked in my mindset and when I got home, I was like, I am recommitting myself to my physical health. And that's what I've been doing. So I started using the MyFitnessPal app on my phone again to track my calories. Um, if you don't know, I'm about 5'8", I think, 5'8 and a half. So I'm pretty tall for a girl. Um, my maintenance calories, I think were around 2,300. So if I ate 2,300 every single day, I would just maintain my weight. So I dropped that down to about 1,800 and that was the deficit that I've been in for the past like eight, nine weeks. It's nothing crazy. We're not doing the 1,100, 1,200, 1,300 calorie diet i'm a taller bigger girl so that would be way too low for me so i did not do anything crazy i want to make it known i didn't do any water fasting or anything any starving myself any egg diet nothing like that i've literally been eating all the same foods that i love just in smaller portions and i just basically started going back to the gym um i couldn't work out for a minute due to my back surgery obviously i was like immobile and stuff um, but since i'm pretty much recovered now i have been avoiding anything heavy with legs but i can go back on the treadmill so i started doing the 12 3 30 cardio routine where you're at a speed of three, an incline of 12 for 30 minutes. And let me tell you, I'm a big sweater and I literally sweat through all of my gym clothes. I sweat through like if I'm wearing my sweet sweat band. Um, so that obviously increases my caloric burn for the day. I've also been doing just like light shoulder raises and lap pull downs, nothing too crazy with my legs because I don't want to re-injure my back. Um, my surgeon did tell me that it's easy to have a second herniated disc or that some people come in for like a second and third surgery. I'm not trying to do all that. We're not trying to get re-injured immediately, no. So I haven't been going crazy on my legs, but I am back in the gym now. For those of you who've been asking, I have been posting it a little bit on my IG story. Um, and then a huge part of it as well is, I know some people think this is like the fluff and like the la la part of it, but I swear to God it works. I completely switched my self-talk. If you've been on my channel for a long time, I always refer to myself as like, oh, you guys know I'm thick or you guys know I'm chunky or like I gotta lose this weight or like I've always been overweight. And by me saying those things, those kept, that kept my reality, that kept perpetuating that reality. So I kept living in that same physical body, right? Because we all know that what we say comes true. So within the past, yeah, two to like three months, I would say, I have been looking in the mirror and telling myself, I'm strong and lean. My body easily and effortlessly maintains its ideal weight. I am fully capable of achieving any goal that I want. I feel healthy, I feel strong, I feel amazing. And I made a promise to myself to cut out all of the negative self-talk. I absolutely will never look in the mirror or look at a picture of myself or anything and say, oh, that looks terrible, I look fat, I look ugly, because then more of those things are going to appear within my reality. I have made it a big, big point to train my subconscious and repetitively tell myself that I am beautiful and strong. I can achieve anything. I feel amazing. You know, I'm physically active. Um, just anything positive that I can tell myself. You guys know I've been, I'm a huge advocate for the law of attraction, the law of assumption, assuming that the reality that you want has already appeared into your reality. Um, I made so many videos on the law of attraction on my channel within the past like 10 years. And I fully believe that that's how I got this house. You know, I would drive into this model complex with my son and I would park in the driveway of the model homes and close my eyes and imagine us living here and imagine myself making enough money and being successful enough to buy a house on my own. And I would try to embody those feelings before that had even happened for me and really convince myself to believe that that was the reality I was already living. And it happened. I bought, you know, a model house in this exact complex that I came to tour for like two years in a row. I had my exact Mercedes on my vision board for years before I actually bought it. And as I was driving around my old Mazda, I would literally close my eyes and imagine what it felt like to drive a Mercedes, to drive a luxury car, to have the means to be able to afford something like that. And you know, I worked hard. I took daily aligned action to have that reality come into my life and it happened. So. You know, I feel like with my weight, it's kind of been the one thing that I've always had an obstacle or kind of hurdles with. I have been more easily able to manifest so many other things in my life. I've had a lot of like career achievements and like I said, buying the house and certain other things. But when it came to my weight, it was always like I had a mental block there. And I'm not saying I'm fully 100% 
like cured of all that and like I'm perfect now or anything, I, I definitely have a long ways to go. So I'm down, like I said, about 30 from my highest, highest point, but I still wanna lose about 20 pounds and be at a lean, strong, you know, physical place and then be able to maintain there for a while. Um, so I'm not saying I'm like perfect and cured of all that, but I know every single day when I make it a point to wake up, make my gratitude list, be fully grateful for the body that I'm in now while also speaking positively to myself and manifesting the body that I do want, I know that I'm a step closer to achieving that. And I really do think that the positive affirmations and using the law of attraction, manifesting, you know, feeling like you're already in that strong, lean, thin body now will help you to achieve it sooner. I know in these weight loss videos, a lot of people, they just want like the quick fix. Like, what did you eat? What did you do? They don't want to hear about the mindset thing. They're just like, well, like, what's the routine? What did you do? But that is a huge part of it. I know for me specifically. Um, so yeah, I've just been eating, like I said, in a caloric deficit, about 1800 calories for my weight and my height. And that's been working perfectly for me. Um, I'm down about 21 pounds within the past like nine ish weeks. Um, my personal goal is to hit 150 pounds and then maintain there. That would be amazing. I think for my height, I'm going to feel super lean and very strong. Um, and that's going to be amazing. And that's what I'm manifesting by January 1st. So I want to hit that weight by new year's. And I will, I am hitting that weight. Let me just speak it into existence and feeling really good. So if you guys do want to follow me on Instagram, I've been showing a little bit of my workouts. Sometimes I'll show what I eat. The crock pot and the air fryer has been a huge thing for me. I've been making like all of my meals. Um, I've been really into cooking lately and learning how to cook new meals. That's been really fun for me. Um, I did bring down a few things that I just wanted to share with you guys that I have been utilizing in my personal life and with my nutrition, excuse me, which have helped aid me in losing that weight the past nine weeks. So one of the quick things, and this is not like a fit, fitness favorites, there's only like five things here. I can do an entire video on like fitness and nutrition favorites if you guys want a step-by-step on every product I've been using. Just let me know in the comments, but something that I've been loving is the Mission Carb Balance Tortillas. These are only 70 calories per tortilla, so I'll use these for like breakfast tacos with eggs and salsa, or I will do lean ground beef and I'll just make like dinner tacos for my son or like my dad and his wife will come over and I'll make those. But they're pretty low calorically and they're pretty big tortillas. Usually if they're are you not focusing i'm sorry usually if they're um a lower calorie tortilla they're smaller but those are really big so i like those i also been loving the nature's harvest multi-grain bread this is only 40 calories a slice so for an entire sandwich two slices that's only 80 calories i add on some lean um turkey or like lean chicken breast with a slice of provolone some lettuce avocado tomato and it's amazing like very easy sandwich at home i used to spend like 15 bucks at panera to just get a sandwich because i swore they made them the best and i loved their dressing and all this stuff and then i'm like jordan you can literally make this at home so grab that bread it's at any grocery store very easy um like i said i genuinely love the built bars so much um my son loves these so i'll pack them in his lunch i actually just ordered a multi-pack off the website to ship to my dad's office because him and his secretary love them um, but some of my favorite flavors i want to share with you guys peanut butter brownie we have double chocolate cookies and cream coconut salted caramel mint chocolate chip if you've never had these this is the packaging it's basically just like an alternative better for you protein bar like I said, they do have the puffs, which are circular, and those ones are more marshmallowy. It's kind of like you're eating like a Milky Way or something, um, but it does have low sugar and high protein, so it's much better for you than an actual candy bar. If you've never tried them, I would recommend getting the mix box because they have just everything mixed in there. You can decide which one is your favorite before you order a full box like this of your favorite flavor. Again, I will have my discount code down below if you guys want to try those out. Okay, my camera is not focusing today. I'm so sorry. I wanna say something might be wrong with the lens. And if it is, I'm gonna be so sad because they don't make this candy anymore. But another thing is being really diligent with myself after every workout to have a protein shake right away. It doesn't have to be something that's heavy. Um, I don't throw a banana in there and like make it chunky and like this big old meal, but I like to basically just take a scoop of this Formula One protein, which I've talked about so many times it's from First Form, been using their products like seven years, you guys already know. Um, but this one is so good. It's called loop de fruit and it tastes exactly like Fruity Pebbles cereal, like to a tea. So I'll basically just take the almond milk, 30 calorie. I'll fill up two cups of that in a little shaker cup. I'll take a Ziploc bag with one scoop of this. And this is a post-workout protein. Um, this has five grams of branched chain amino acids, 100% hydrolyzed whey protein, cross flow, cross, can I talk today? Cross flow micro filtered protein supplement. So they have tons of different flavors. This one's only 100 calories per scoop. If you're, um, 
if you weigh more or you're a bigger man or what may have you, you might wanna take two scoops, but I just take one mixed with the almond milk and it's so good. I swear the loop fruit flavor is so potent and like flavorful. This is one of my favorite ones. The other one, peanut butter cup is really good as well. I also like their regular um, protein, the level one. That one's really good for like breakfast waffles or breakfast muffins. You can actually cook with it. Um, that one's a little bit thicker of a protein, which you could use as a meal replacement. But if you're going specifically for a post-workout protein, you want to go for the formula one because they're formulated for different things. Um, also the collagen, I don't know necessarily that this has helped with weight loss, just being fully honest, but my hair and skin my hair and nails, excuse me, have been growing incredibly fast. I've been having to get like nail fills quicker than usual. Um, whenever I use this consistently, I notice that my hair and nails just grow a lot quicker. I notice a lot of people say with this too, it will help clear up your skin. I haven't really had much acne in years, so I can't really tell a huge difference. Um, but it's, if anything, it's kept my skin looking good. Like I rarely have acne and I'm so grateful because I had some pretty bad acne like in high school and it was not only embarrassing, but or actually, you know what? I think the worst time I had acne was when I was pregnant with my son. I had really bad like jaw acne and like breakouts and it just sucks, right? Like you're not, it really like harps on your confidence and I don't know, when you look good, you feel good. So collagen, everyone knows is amazing for strengthening your nails, helping your hair grow fast, nails grow quicker, all of the beauty things that we love, right? So this is also from First Form. I still have my link for First Form if you guys do want free shipping and free returns. I'm very grateful if you use it, I'll put it down below. Um, something I did want to add in, I don't have the bottle right now because I used up the entire thing the past eight to nine weeks, but I'll put up a picture. I have been using the First Form Fat Burner again. Um, I'm always kind of iffy on mentioning this because I'm not pushing this on anyone. You don't have to use it. You do not need a fat burner to lose weight. Please hear me loud and clear. I just, it just worked really well for me. And that's just the straight up truth. When I lost a bunch of weight like six years ago, like I was saying when I was in the gym a lot, I used two bottles of that, I think throughout like a four or five month period. And that's the leanest I've ever got. My biceps were like popping, I had back muscles. It worked amazing for me. Now it's not gonna work if you're not in a caloric deficit, if you're eating like shit, just going through drive throughs all day. But if you are truly on a plan in a caloric deficit, you're working out, you are prioritizing physical activity, it does help see your results quicker. It basically is like a little add-on, like a little booster on top of a healthy routine that you've already established for yourself. Um, so I did just wanna be honest with you guys that I have been using that. I will link it down below. Like I said, I'm out of the physical bottle right now because I just ran out of it. I actually need to order another one, but I just take one before lunch and I take one before dinner. I do not, I would not recommend taking it too late in the day just because you don't wanna be up all night because I believe there is some caffeine in there. But for me, I've noticed that it takes off the like late, it helps with the late night cravings, the afternoon cravings, and just helps me to really stick to my nutritional goal for the day. And it also does give me a little energy boost. Um, so I would say, honestly, that has been a huge part in helping me like knock off the weight the past few months. And I really do think that it's made a difference. Um, if you guys wanna save about 10 bucks on shipping, you can use my first form link on anything. I'm super, super grateful. Um, but yeah, if you guys want like an entire, like a what's in my gym bag video or a full fitness favorites video, I can show you. I found some new socks that I've really been liking. I have my uh, running shoes. I have some new like equip, not equipment, but like apparel, some cable attachments, some hats I've been wearing. I just didn't want to bring down and throw like everything in this video. Cause I feel like this video would be like a million years long. But if you happen to want that, let me know. Um, I just want to say thank you for like all the compliments and sweet messages on Instagram. I think you guys can really tell that I'm feeling a lot better mentally and a lot healthier. And it's nice for me to see that it's, that you could tell and it just makes me happy. So I'm really grateful for the positive comments and love. It means a lot to me. Um, and I'm excited to come back to you guys in a few months with another update and tell you that I'm down like 40 pounds because yes, absolutely yes. Immediately, can I talk? Immediately yes, we're thriving. We're entering the new year as our best mental and physical self and I'm stoked about it. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for being so complimentative on my progress. Um, I'm gonna link everything down below that I talked about today and all my discount codes, everything like that. If you guys wanna see what I'm doing in the gym um, and just kind of some physical body like updates, all that stuff, be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye.